Not here. Judge Shaw here. Commissioner Schindel? Here. Commissioner Hummel? Not here. Please stand and join us in open prayer and stay safe for the pledge. Heavenly Father, we ask for your guidance to make decisions uh, for the county today and give us direction to make the best decisions for our citizens. No, no. We ask that you keep us safe on the roads and that you be with us as we travel in the heavy traffic that we're not used to. And we ask that you be with our troops wherever they may be. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Agenda is to discuss, approve, disapprove, amending the fiscal year 2012 road and bridge budget to accommodate hiring two part time positions for the uh, remainder of the budget year. 28 work weeks as of 3 12 12. Two part time positions at 30 hours a week times 28 work weeks at $12 an hour would be $25,536. That's uh, authored by Luana. That was a request by Jeff to hire the part time folks. Good morning, Five. We discussed all that last week, the numbers and all, and it's one of approved it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. here, so. yeah, that's just to amend the budget so we can move some of the money out to the part timers of what it's going to be. So, therefore, it's been approved. She's not here, but we did discuss it last week. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve these two part time positions for the remainder of the budget year for the road and bridge department. All in favor? Oops. All in favor? Aye. 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 Number six on the agenda is to discuss and approve this approved creating a litter control committee with Commissioner of Precinct 1, Carl Hummel, as chair of the committee, along with one citizen from each precinct. Uh, Mrs. Sparks has agreed to do uh, Tracy's number four. And the author on this was Carl. Uh, we had discussed forming the committee, but we just wanted to put it through here so we would have record of actually having the committee. And Carl was in agreement to do it. He's just not able to be here today. He texted me earlier this morning. Um, James texted me that he didn't have anybody from his precinct yet. Did you, did you guys have anybody from y'all's precinct yet? Well, I don't have anybody. I talked to Rick Stern. He said, uh, I need to discuss it with a group of people. And we'll come up with someone. I uh, asked Caroline Krasetka. Uh, she said there wasn't a great need that they, the only place in Paul City, but they both of them had agreed that uh, there were plenty of kids available to help pick up trash. They did get it. And, uh, so anyway, I don't have anybody we can approve creating a committee and it's just one person from each precinct and y'all get them on there, y'all can have them. And just let Carl know who they are. You already have yours, Tracy. Mm -hmm. So, I make a motion that we approve creating the Litter Control Committee with Commissioner Precinct 1, Paul Hummel, chair of the committee with uh, one citizen from each precinct. And we already know who Meadow Sparks is gonna be. I say the motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposition? No opposition, motion carries 3-0. Um, number seven is to review brands and possible action and selection of game cameras. Since Carl's not here, we're going to have to take no action on that, and I'll put it back on the agenda at the end of the month to be able to, because he was going to go look at prices and bring us the information. So we don't have it. We can't do it. Number eight is to discuss, approve, disapprove, amending the budget to purchase game cameras for the little control project. That one, again, we'll have to take no action, and I'll put it back on at the end of the, when Carl's here because we'll, we'll need that monetary figure. Number nine is to discuss, approve, disapprove service and repair order with Otis Elevator to install collapsible door restrictors to be in compliance with current regulations on the courthouse elevator in the amount of $2,300. If you'll look, you'll have a little contract here from Otis Elevator on the collapsible door restrictors. And there's an email from somebody from TDLR, the Texas Department of License and Regulation attached to the back. And um, all passenger elevators were supposed to have restrictors 
installed no later than 9-1-2010. Mm -hmm. And some people, I guess, rest did restrictors and some people didn't. We didn't get our restrictors in. We didn't meet the deadline to the prior to the 9-1-2010. Well, there was an elevator <coughs> incident and it was blamed once again on the restrictors. And so they're contacting everybody that has elevators that does not have restrictors with TDLR and telling us that the restrictors have to be in so nobody falls through the shaft or anything. And I talked to the lady that sent this contractor, her name, uh, contract, her name is Rebecca Banks. And she said, and I told her that the courthouse was being restored and that we're not using the elevator. And she said, but you plan, I guess, to use it again. And I guess we do plan to use the elevator. I don't know if people are using it to go up and down right now or what they're doing. Yes, they are. They well, we are out of compliance with the Texas Department of License and Regulation, and if we don't put in door restrictors, we're not going to get our license back to be able to use the elevator. And then we'll have to install a new elevator because we will no longer be able to get the restrictors because we've turned it down. So that's where we are with that. We can either spend the $2,300 now or a fortune later. Uh, the pressure deal. Yeah. That's right. We were supposed to have it done by 2010 and we didn't get it done. And so, you know how things kind of go to the wayside, nobody's saying anything, but one accident happens and... Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve a service of repair and order of the Otis elevator to install a collapsible door restrictor to be compliant with the current regulations of the courthouse elevator and the amount of $2,300. Uh, and just really quick, if. I think we can take that out of, we have that uh, courthouse maintenance fund, and I believe we can take that out of there. And since Luana's not here, uh, if we have to amend, I will ask her, and we'll put it on there next time. But we need to go ahead and get the contract back just so we don't get in trouble. Okay. So all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? The motion carries 3-0. Yeah. Oh, we all give me, uh, can we amend that? We all give me permission to uh, sign it? Execute the agreement. Yes. Can we do that? Yes, I amend your motion. Amend the motion. Technically, you need to come back and amend that motion. All right, that's all that's the table. Okay, I'll make I'll make a motion to amend uh, item number nine and include uh, the authorization of Judge Shaw to sign the contract. I second. Okay. Now, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposition? Motion carries. This is to the amended motion, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Number ten is to discuss, approve, disapprove applying for an ACOG grant and allowing Carl Hummel to work with Sarah Representative with the application process. Applications are due April 16, 2012. I put this on here. You have a little um, ACOG package in your package. And Carl did the, uh, y'all remember he did the uh, oh, solid waste grant? Was it a solid waste grant where he did Oil and hazardous waste. Uh, hazardous waste. Is that what household yeah, stuff? Tires and all that stuff. And that's what this is. And so, since he's already done it and he's already worked with Karen, because I think Karen's going to be the person he's going to work with because she's the one that sent me this stuff, I asked him if he would be willing to uh, do that. And he said, just have Karen give him a call that, that they would pull the old grants to get the grants. And there's not near as much money available as used to. And we're down to a bare, bare hardly nothing. And uh, she just needs somebody to be able to work with to get the grant applications done. And so I asked Carl about it, like I said, because he's done it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think you turned it either. I apologize. So I make a motion that we approve applying for ACOG grants and allowing Carl Hummel to work with the SARE representative with the application process. And the applications are due April 16, 2012. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries 3 0. <coughs> Number 11 on the agenda is to discuss, approve, disapprove project build them up phase one estimation of road material costs for following county roads for the use of road material. For the bond, he has County Road 210, 387, 295, 303, 276, 104, 106, 145, 322, 326, 218, 307, 306, 154, and 141. And that's Jeff. <laughs> all right, uh, first, this is going to be the first phase. We didn't figure all of them yet. This is going to be the first phase what we're taking off on. 
if you all look on the on the first part, this is your uh, your material cost and everything. But if you flip the page, we had, we added the the culvert repairs, what the culverts we need to put in on them roads, and then this is going to be your total cost per per road. And then if y'all need the actual figures that we uh that we how we figured it. I'll have to take these and I'll make a copy for you all if you all need these. The actual figures how we figured it. But it's figured on uh, on uh, the eight inches of base material, that's loose material, by the time you compact it down, it'll be down to about five inches and 20 foot wide. Got your ton broke down, water, paper, roads, and everything. Two inch base material. Now, Jeff, this is going to be phase one. You're, you're, you're using a little over a million dollars. So you're yes, looking at doing this in three phases. Yes. Is that what you're going to yes, do? Yes, ma'am. Can you get us? We, we're going to need phase two and phase three. Yeah, we're going to start working on that one. Can you have? Can you get them ready for us so we can yeah. go ahead? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we can't pull no, the bottom in until we right. have this in our I wanted room. to get the first one going, and then we're going to start bringing in the other ones. We'll get the next phase going, and then, and then the third one also. <clears throat> Because I talked to Bob uh, Henderson and uh, uh, we do it all together, or just one of them? Can we do it a million at a time? Well, but just for fees and stuff, it would be I think cheaper if we do the whole thing. Pull the three million. I mean, because if not, we're going to keep paying the fees. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well. I guess what it, what it's going to look at, we're going to keep, we're going to have to pay interest on that money after we pull the bonds. Right. But, but he needs to, he needs to be able to, be able to start working with that as soon as he gets it. And I, I mean, what are you looking at per phase, Jeff? Like a timeline per phase? If we do it ourselves, uh, what was it? We didn't, we didn't break that down, did we? Yeah, it was going to be on this first phase. It's going to be estimated at probably three years. Yeah. Three years for phase one? Uh, yeah, if we do it, if we do it ourselves. If we do it with our own trucks and everything, that's how long it'll take us. It'll take three years. But if, right. But if we hire a fleet to, you know, guys to help me, well we can I can burn that we can run through that in a hurry. It's gonna cost you a million dollars. You can take what the material, the supplies for the roads, the pipes, you can take and add that. For trucking, you can add that because of the price of diesel going up. It's it's going to be about what you're what we're going to put on the road in base material and pipes. Trucking is going to cost you that amount because you can't with this fuel going up and up. I don't. I can figure it, but it's going to be it's going to be a tough one because I know the truckers that we were using they're going to go up on the cost because man that fuel is just going they up. Never cried already when it was hard, Jeffrey. You can't hide. Laura said you cannot pay for the trucking out of this bond She money. said that was for material only. Material only. Material only. Well, yes. material delivered is material. That's the way we talked about it when, when we wrote up the bond issue. It was for material delivered. If it wasn't for material, that we had to go get trucking it. separate. That's why we put that way, so the material delivered. So I don't know whether the law is sure about that or not. Well, well, he has to have it delivered, so I think he can do that. What do you think, Bob? It sounds certainly reasonable, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, right. there's, your, there's $3 million worth of material somewhere. And it costs another $3 million. You say material, material is out there, it's in the ground. Mm -hmm. And you got to pay for digging it up and everything else. Right. I mean, where do you start? Material. Your bond attorney tell you that? He, I think by, they're, they're not near as nitpicky as we try to get sometimes. They understand that you have to get it here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, he knows it has to come in a truck. Uh, she said this, you know, material, but, you know, there's like Pete, I remember Pete talking about it. He said this is going to be to get the material to us, but we didn't have the trucking to it. If I had the trucking to it, you can just take and double, double. double your cost because that's exactly what it's going to be. But we have to get it in here and start working on this. Okay. We need to look at the way it's written up. Okay? Yeah, that's, that that's y'all need to check into that so we know where we're going with it. We need to get that clarified. Yeah. I mean, we that was That was our intention with I, I think he, when we talked to Tom, I think we asked him that specific question. We did. Right. And he said that was fine. Well, it makes sense, but right. sometimes it's not written that way. You need to take a look. 
I mean, but if it's for materials, you can't just say $3 million of materials. And how are you going to get them here? You get a lot of materials, but it's going to be laid up for uh, new problems or someplace. Right. We have the material. We just don't have a way to get it here. That doesn't make any sense. It's a little... Common sense would say that you should be delivered here. I got to you get it. You have to order it yourself. How long will that take? Well, that's that's what he said, three years. Three, 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 years. three, years. three years. Three years for first phase. Well, that's legal. I'm easy to believe. Yeah, I know. Did you shoot me? No. Not yet. <laughs> but I think, I mean, I think we can clarify that. I mean, can we? We need to get it clarified, but it should, surely we have enough control over to make it go that way. Well, of but course. I mean, it's, it's for our citizens. It's our money. It's their money. It's not our money. It's their money. Are, I'm a citizen too. Well, I, I use citizen too. But and the roads are, but I have to, <coughs> the best, I have to pay, try to pay the least taxes I have to. But I think, Pete, I think we talked to him about some of that. I know we did. I know we did. And he said, we no. We can work that, this out. We just need to know. I think this is uh, yeah. 150, over there, 150 miles, was it? Totally what it will cover. Um, the first, no, that's the total pace, what it's going to be. Well, you know, I have a sheet of paper somewhere that I can find it. But, you yeah. know, we sat and figured it. I wrote it right. down, and we had it written down for so much to deliver. It's 128,311 yeah. uh, for the ton, but it's only, this first phase is just 51 miles. The first phase is 51, 51 miles, yeah. Mm -hmm. You look at $2 million for the first 51 miles. Right. And it's figured out three oh. years because that's oh, if the county's going to do it. Well, no, no. The court has sent me, they upgraded on all their cost expense. They sent me an upgrade on what they're going to be charging us for material. They sent me another one. They're going up on material again because of diesel keeps climbing. So the, the, it's passed on to us. So the, you figure you figure one thing and then you got to turn around a few weeks later and you're figuring it again. But um, let me just, Jeff, just so we know, because if we if we pull this bond, if we, I mean, we can even, we can approve this, I guess, contingent upon talking to Tom. But if we pull this bond, you got to use it, okay? And that's right. going to put a lot of pressure on you to start moving fast because we don't want to be paying. Hey, Lizzie, we can. We don't want to be paying interest I can on money. Get enough trucks for you. He can spend that in a week. I mean, but I want you to start using it if we yeah. pull it because if we're paying yeah, interest, I'm we sure. can invest that money too, as long as it's under a certain dollar amount. We can actually invest it. It's not going to be anywhere near what we're paying on the interest. Well, 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 and I'm not picking at you. Know, I just want you to use it. Oh, we're going to we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. we'll use it. I'll need more. And then what I need you. Okay, there you go. When you need more, you need to start getting that ready now. If you oh, help, if you help me write that plan, we can actually get one of these out. Well, that's why we're starting off with the little one first, and we'll just keep stepping, keep stepping, and getting more and more. And I'm I'm working already trying to figure out what I need to amend my budget for at the end of the month. And uh, I'm going to be amending it for for uh, diesel. Uh, I, I put just bought fuel. We're going to be uh, and we're still going to need some tires. We're going. I'm going to have to amend the budget quite a bit so I can keep rolling. Well, I mean, we just need if you pull this money, you need to use it. Oh, so really? we're not paying. Believe me, uh, all the people that are screaming and hollering about roads, I need it, and we need about three times of my pay. True. And before but, you leave, if you'll just wait for a second, we'll go talk to Tom and we'll. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask if we can. We can do that. We can do that before you leave. Bob, yeah. can we, do you think we can approve that and then call Tom? And if we've made a mistake, we'll just have to say we've made a mistake. Well, don't but you I approve don't... it contingent upon it being like we think it is. Okay. But it's a delivered FOB or whatever. And then you're going to spend that money and you'll get it rolling as soon as we get it in here. Yes, ma'am. Because what I'm waiting to do is I'm waiting to pull the 250000 so we can pull it all at once so we don't pay the fee twice. Right. By doing it that way, if you can't do it, you just don't do it. Well, I mean, we need, we we need to fix these roads. roads. Yeah, I know, and we need to fix these roads, and that's what the people voted for, is to fix right. their roads. And I'm not going to say they're all going to be done at once, or this is going to be easy, but... There's got to be a way to fix it if we can't, if it's not that way. We'll it should be that way. He, he told us it was that way, Bob. I think we make things more technical than they could ever be made anywhere else. Well. So I make a motion that we discuss approve, I mean, that we approve the project build him up, up on, after, you know, with, continuing upon what Tom Holland says. And if he says right. it's a go, we can start pulling that money and getting it done. I second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries 3-0.
Jeff, wait for us, okay? I'm going home. And then number 12 is a, um, it says discuss approve, disapprove entering into a map endorsing agreement with Liberty Marketing Company, and it's no charge to the county. And I know there's no such thing as a free lunch, but what this is, if this lady called me from Liberty, they're doing, they're working with Floresville Chamber of Commerce and um, another Chamber of Commerce out in Wilson County, and they said, have you called Carnes County? They probably have more business than anybody right now, but what it is, is we could get 2,000 maps if people, Liberty will go out and solicit advertisers, and it will be at no cost to us, but it's still a contract, so I wouldn't do it without talking to you guys. I don't You've got to get permission from Mr. Scorton. And so it's, blessings. so I guess I come before you today asking for that blessing because I think it would be neat to have those maps because people come in here for maps all the time. I don't know, I'm sure y'all all get it. I'm sure you get it at Road Bridge. Everybody wants a map of the county. We've done and, that before, several years ago. And Sharon has some in her office. She's got some maps, but I think, I think she's about, that left. Yeah, was left. left. There's not a whole lot left. Yeah. But if we can get 2003 maps, I, I think that's a good thing. People, uh, you know, opportunity to advertise and see who's here and what's this here. This is road maps. It's, it, yes, it's a county map. Okay, we give them permission to sell ads. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They go around soliciting ads. We do nothing. We just have to sign a contract allowing them to solicit. Yes, sir. It's in there. You got a Liberty contract in your package. It says Liberty Marketing. Mm -hmm. All right, I make a motion to approve entering into a map endorsement mm -hmm. agreement with the Liberty Marketing Company. This is no charge to the county. It allow the county judge to execute the agreement if approved. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? No opposition. Motion carries 3-0. The next item on the agenda is to adjourn. I make the motion to adjourn. I second it. All in favor say aye. 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 No opposition. Motion carries 3-0. Thank you. Thank you. Carol, I guess what I need to do is